Hello everybody, this is Fino, and today we are back with more Slime Rancher. I love this game. It's so much fun. Oh, we got two new slimes, right? Right? Yeah, right. We got two more slimes to do something with. We have all the slimes, I believe, in the catalog, except for gold. Um, I believe, I believe we have them all now. We do. We have them all. They're all our prisoners. <laughs> all right. So, we're going to be chilling out of the ranch all day. Big, big plans here. First, we need money. We need lots of money. We need a painted hen to go over here. So, we are finally going to begin our renovations. Breed. So, to begin our, reserva our renovations... We're going to basically end up getting rid of... Is he free? Was that slime free? Are they free? He's real. Oh, no! How did they get out? How did that happen? How did he get out? How did they get out? How did they get out? What is going on? I know how they got out. It's because they're these slimes. They got out and then, or they phased through. Okay, so it's very important we keep these bastards fed. How do they keep getting out? They keep escaping. How? What is happening? They keep phasing in and out. I don't know how to keep them in. Bad slimes. How do I keep them in? How are they escaping? I don't understand. There's some sort of event that took place in the ancient ruins, all capable of emitting other possible realities of their being called ghosts. These realities can come true with the quantum slime while realigning, effectively teleporting. It can be one of the most difficult slimes to manage given their unique abilities. A rancher needs to learn to detect when slimes are primed to take over the reality of a ghost and act quickly, such as feeding them or just splashing them with some fresh water as a temporary measure. Bastards. 
They like littered my ranch. It's okay. We needed money anyway. This is one way to get some money. Stop it. Stop it. Alright, so... These slimes are dicks. They're very, very valuable dicks, though, so let's grab that money. Dervishes are worth quite a bit, too. Alright, so before we were so rudely interrupted... We had plans. I don't know how we're going to handle the phase slimes. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Um, going to sell a whole bunch of these. gonna get some money and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the money and we're gonna start finishing up what we got going on here we've got a lot of money a lot a lot a lot of money So let's go open up the other area. Our final area. The docks. That is a rubber ducky and it is adorable. Along with a natural pond for puddle slimes and four beautiful little spots. View of the sea really reminds you of the our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was the first great unknown. And then space and then whatever is beyond all that. That need to see what's around the next corner is in my bones. And it, since you're out here too, I reckon it's in yours too. Though I suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air or you prefer the untamed beauty of this land. Or maybe it's just because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure, is the way... To do it doesn't get much further than this H all right I don't know what to put over here puddle slimes for certain all right so we've got a lot of pissed off slimes it's really what it's coming down to So I feel like the cave, the cave is a good uh, crop growing area. Or maybe that's a good crop growing area. I feel like this area and that middle area should have slimes of some sorts. Um, so... Let's So yeah, I feel like in here Should be crops I feel like all we're doing is just kind of moving everything I feel like we have a pretty good ranch setup to be honest I feel like the phase slimes are a little risky out here We can move them. Maybe we're not gonna redo the ranch 
Maybe I like the way the ranch is. But we I don't think there's a problem with the ranch so much as we need to dispose of the meat eaters that we have. And we certainly need to relocate these guys. All right, so plan, plan of attack. I don't, I don't have, I don't have a plan of attack. Um, I don't know. I'm so damn indecisive. All right, we're gonna get rid of these crops. And what we're gonna put over here are the teleporty type slimes. I wanted to demolish, but that works. So if we put the teleporty slimes over here, they're out of the way. They, If they do get out, they're going to have to travel. High walls. Um, and what I want to do is while we're doing our little upgrade here, I want to make sure that we're just giving it everything. Well, I guess we didn't need to do nighttime. That's a bit much. Um... Well, it's a nighttime box. So we'll put our nighttime slimes in there to get them out of the dungeon. Actually, we'll just do nighttime phasers. That's not a bad idea. Stop it. So to make some nighttime phasers, let's feed these cranky bastards first. Come on, eat up guys. Come on. Don't be so moody. Alright. So we need to... The trick is now is we need little ones. And we don't have any. That's the issue now. I know we can relocate Mr. Puddles here. I guess we'll grab the puddle plorts. Um, we need little slimes. We have the little mosaic so we can breed a mosaic We have a little tangle, but we do need the littles of the other guys in order to do full relocations Which is fine um, I think the dervish I Don't know. I only want one batch of mosaics I know the night timers are gonna go in there. I guess the so let's go drop off our puddle slimes. They got it. They got their own. They got their own spot now. They're gonna be chilling. They're way out of the way, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's fine. They can play with their super cute little rubber ducky. Here you guys go. Yeah, you play with that rubber ducky. Um. All right. I feel so bad for all these slimes. I'll be back for you. All right, so what do we want to breed with the phosphoruses? We could do mosaics. I know we need a baby one. It's almost nighttime. There you guys go. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Um. 
Yeah, we gotta dig up this bad boy. And then another corral. High walls, music box, air net, port collector, auto feeder. Let's go grab ourselves a phosphorus slime. Seven is perfect. I think seven per is pretty good for Largos. There we go. So they're in there. Let's breed them. I don't know. What do we breed them with? Needs to be something safe to run by. Like these two guys here, these should be our damaging ones. So this should, one of them should be the crystals. And one of them should be... Because I, I like these guys. They're pretty cool. These guys are cool. Let's just do flying tabbies. Flying tabbies. They eat, they'll eat fruit. Hello. You guys are like super pissed off. I'm sorry. I guess we can grab seven. I'm sorry, I'll be back for you. Don't hate me forever. Oh my god, they're so cute! Beautiful. Alright, so... Mosaics. I should read the lore on the mosaics before we start breeding them. Uh... Name for glittering array of glass tiles that cover its body. This glass produces a similar anomaly found in the desert itself, making the mosaic slime beautiful and quite, but quite dangerous. Mosaic slimes can be very dangerous if unprepared rancher. Their glass tiles create a shimmering effect in the daylight that attracts other slimes to them. It is known, it is unknown why slimes exhibit this behavior exactly, but leading theories indicate that sparkly things are super cool. Even more dangerous, the mosaic slime can produce glints in the space around them, ultra-hot solar anomalies that grow intensely before drifting toward the ground and bursting into flames. Glints can be stuffed out with a splash of water, but the best way to reduce their appearance is to ensure the mosaic slimes are well-fed and not agitated. What do they eat? Vegetables. All right. So I think the mosaic slimes get bred with coons. Coons could be cool. Dervishes? Yeah, let's do dervishes. There we go. They're kind of cool and terrifying. All right, so downside is we blew up all our crops. Hi guys, I need. All right, so in here is gonna become our crop kingdom. Because there's five in here, which is going to allow us to be able to... Grow all kinds of fun little crops. Let's get mint mangoes growing. They eat fruit, right? Here, have some mint mangoes. Um, these guys here...
We gotta figure out what to do with. So for starters, we need more money. All the money. Oh, we're full. We can always get heartbeats. I'm not really concerned about it. All right. Tossing all of the money. So we need to find something for our Tangle Slimes to breed with too? I mean... Tangles eat meat. Maybe that combination was a bad idea. I don't know. What I do know is that these guys can go bye-bye. Goodbye. May you never come back to my ranch. I probably should be shooting them that way and into the water for that very reason. Well, they're all gone. All right, so this pen's actually okay. We're just gonna move these guys here. Whoops, where'd he go? We only want seven so that they can be a little more comfortable. So that's four. Apparently we have a lot of these guys. Five. Six. Seven. So we had ten. So I don't know if I'm going to keep honey pinks, to be perfectly honest. Uh, meat eaters with pinks is probably a better idea. I'm assuming that we're full. Definitely full. So I think instead of doing a pink... Um, instead of doing pink honeys... I think I'm going to breed the honeys with something else that are easier to feed. And do pink tangle slimes. Because tangle slimes only eat meat. And I think that would make sense. Damn, puddle slimes. Y'all be wrecking more star mail. Casey, what is up? Um, so yeah, doing, doing the tangle honeys, I think is the good idea. Tango pinks. Oh my god, they are so cute. Why is he gold? Oh no! Wait, what the shit is he doing? Where did they 
get those? What? What just happened? He just started grabbing random plorts. They look innocent with its wide smile and colorful flower atop its head. It's actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for tasty meat. The Nagel Slime earned its name by twisting vines that it can produce to grab things in the environment. It's unknown what caused the Tangle Slime to become such a fearsome predator in the barren waste of the glass desert. However, if the land once... Damn, he's a dick. Can, can a be a handful on the ranch if they're not well fed at all times. Not only can Tangle Slimes tunnel their vines underground to snatch food and plorts from outside of their corrals, but the flowers on their heads can produce noxious pollen cloud that cause other slimes to go into sneezing fits. When slimes sneeze from the pollen, their agitation rapidly increases, causing more, more boom slime explosions, crystal slime spikes, and all-around jumpiness. So they're dicks. Now you gotta keep fed. It's good to know. They eat anything, so that's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to keep them in there. Let's give them a music box and an auto feeder. So we're just going to sell this stuff. We need dervishes. Where should, where should we breed dervishes with? Um... Dervishes are what? They eat veggies? I don't know. I got rid of them. I don't mind these guys. And now we have a different plan for the honeys because we don't need double pinks. So let's get rid of these nerds. Sorry. Seems like we were just moving them the other day. How? There's 11 things to feed you. And he broke my roof. What the shit just go? What? What? <laughs> so badly oh our renovations all of our plans our dreams they kind of crumbled in on themselves okay so apparently putting all the slimes in one area that is just not gonna work um they need to be spaced the fuck out i think slimes need to go there and there all these need to be gardens. Slime, slime. And then we need, to just, we need to start putting these bastards in their places. We have so many dead slimes now. Alright, so knowing that we're going to turn all of these into gardens, we do have the tangle plorts, which we're going to breed with pinks. Um, downside? Don't really want them out here anymore. Um... Unless they're, like, over here. I feel like we need to keep slimes apart. And we're going to be way better off. Like, Tangle Slime should be in their own area where they can't get plorts. 
um, dervish slimes should be in their own area where they can't get plorts. Like each one of the tricky slimes needs to be, or quantum, they each need to be in their own area where they can't get other slimes plorts. I think that's going to be the best option. Setting it up, probably going to be a nightmare. Um, and then we're just going to put their food near them. I think that's the plan. I feel really bad for all our current slimes. But that's how it's going to go. Um, can't put them down there because the puddle slimes are down there. Um, so green slimes got to go in here. Sorry, chickens. We have too many plorts. Um, quantums can go all the way over there. We can put quantums over here. And breed them with what? That's the question. We have no babies. Um, we have no babies. All right. So these guys are good here. We're going to grow Q-berries here. I know it seems like we wasted a whole bunch of money to do that. And we did. Garden. Nutrient. Sprinkler. Scare slime. Let's go grab some Q-berries. Um... There's nothing in here. So we'll put a... We'll put the gardens in the front? Question mark? Triangles. So we'll put garden there and there. Slime there. Or no, we want a garden in this corner. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think we're basically at the point where we're just going to reset the ranch. We're going to restart our slimes. And I'm keeping these guys around just so that we have food. Um, so this is going to become a garden. Fino, you're insane. You're destroying everything and you have no idea what you're doing. I know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um... I don't even have... This guy is the only guy who's going to eat these. Everybody else eats vegetables, which I already blew up. Alright, so... They're growing. Clean up the uh, rogue ports, or plorts. Um, hey, she spit that back out at me. How dare you, slime? All right. Well, we learned our lesson. We we let the chaos come out. We've got plants back here. We're going to put, I don't know, either, I think we're going to put another plant right here. Alright, we need to go grab a Q-berry, get that growing. All our current slimes are just going to hate us, that's fine. That is fine. Before I forget... All right, so we've got this growing. It's in tip top. What do we put here? I think we do boom rad slimes. Um, yeah, boom rad slime sounds pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But we have plenty of money. We got plenty of time. And I guess we're going to pick it up. Uh, 
next week, I think, is going to be the plan. I don't know. I don't know. These guys are happy. They're the only happy slimes we got right now. And they're super cute, and I love them. Look at them. Just look at them. They're so adorable. Thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying Slime Rancher as much as I am. Just enjoying everything fail and fall apart on me. This guy, look at him. He's like, I have so much food. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. We're going to keep playing. We're going to put the ranch back together next episode. The rebrand did not work the way intended. Um, but we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out. I don't know where. I got to figure out a place to put the tricky, tricky guys. The tricky guys need to be away from other slimes. Such as, like, the Tangle Plort, he needs to be unable to reach other Plorts. So he needs to be put far away from other Plorts. Um, and basically just taking the tricky ones and putting them in their own corners. So we're going to put a tricky one down in there. We'll put, I think, the Tangle Plorts over in that area. And, yeah. The uh, f ones we lost. The guys that we had to find and I have no idea if we can even get back for <laughs> all I know. The shiny ones. We're going to put them in their own little area too. Um, we're going to start putting their foods right next to them. So we can just make rounds. We can go doo, 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 And just kind of. Kind of make it work a little bit better. I think that's the plan. It's definitely the plan. Thank you all very much again for watching. If you enjoyed it. Give it a like. Give it a share. And as always. Till the next video. Hello there. Thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you enjoyed the content here, why don't you watch something next over there on that little box? Or if you want to check out something new, why don't you check the recommended feed on right there? And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the video you just got done watching, why don't you bop that little ghost right below me on the face as hard as you can and hit the subscribe button. Thank you all very much for your continued support. And as always, till the next video.